Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to another Lumber Tycoon 2 tutorial video. Now, um, real quick, today is October 31st, and I know it doesn't look like it here because this was recorded yesterday. So, this is for today. If you log into Lumber Tycoon 2 right now, it should be all dark and gloomy, and it's the end times stuff. And if you want the end times acts, you have to go and do it today. Okay, the the October 31st is the only day that you're going to be able to do this. Now I'm going to show you exactly what to do, but you have to do uh, you have to do this on October 31st. Any other time, it's going to be the Rookery Axe. That's what I'm going to go get right now. But this is how you do it. Okay, you're going to run over here. Go over to the Wood R Us. Say hello to Tom whenever you stop in. Hello, Tom. Hello, sir. <clears throat> Run over here to the back and you're gonna grab some sand. Now, a lot of people already know this. If you don't know this, then this is also how to get the Rookery Axe. Um, so it's the Rookery, Rookery Axe, 364 days out of the year. Um, for that one other day, which is today, or tomorrow for me, uh, today for you, it's uh, it's the, the End Times Axe. <clears throat> and the End Times Axe is the only axe that will cut the End Times tree which is down below the um, the thing here, the bridge. And the, the bridge uh, has to be lowered by giving an, uh, an, an not an octopus, uh, the ostrich eye to Saranok. It's a deal. So then that's, that's gonna put you out another hundred money. <clears throat> and normally, I would go and play for like 30 minutes, but this is a quick tutorial to get you guys to go and get the end times axes, okay? Whew. Excuse me, a little bit of indigestion. It's fine, Code. It's fine. Just show us how to do it, okay? Okay, I'm going. I'm going to run across the bridge. And you're going to have to go pick up a light bulb and a can of worms. The light bulb can be found at the back of Fancy Furnishings. Just go talk to Corey, my, my good man, Corey. Hey, Corey. Hey, hey Code, what's up? Just uh, showing people how to get the end times axe. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. All right, so. Every year, it, it, it never ceases to, to amaze me how many people who are subscribed to my channel are like, oh man, I missed it. I'm like, dude, now you have to wait 364 days. That's a whole year. So, okay, once you buy that, Throw it in the back of your truck, just like that. And off we go to Bob's. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now I've already stocked up on uh, my first base, my slot one. But I need one for this one. Actually, I, th I think I've still got quite a few. But, oh, oh, a can of worms right here. And some TNT. You have to get TNT as well. 3,200, 3, yes. Um, if you want the total amount, it's about 7,300, 7,200 for um, the full amount uh, to, to do the entire run. That is for the sand, the light bulb, the can of worms, the TNT, and the price of the bridge. Um, I used to do the calculations to just say, hey, you know what, 8,000 per axe, and you can sell it for 8,000 per axe because that's how much it's gonna cost for you to go get it. Same thing with the Rookery Axe. If you do a whole bunch of Rookery Axes and you're selling Rookies, then sell them at 8K. Because I mean, that's how much it costs to go get one. Do, 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 do. Um, a lot of people ask me all the time, hey, how much should I sell this for? How much should I sell this for? Um, I, I would say 7,000 to 8,000 is the average for one axe, and that's a specialty axe. Um, if it is an end times, you can charge more, just because you, you have to get it one day out of the year. Um, if it is a specialty axe from um, a beesmus, so like the, the bees axe, or I think it might be the amber axe. I don't remember what the amber axe was a specialty of, but, Okay, so we'll stop here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna run over here. I don't know if I showed that well enough. There's the the main Woods Are Us store, just back into the left. 
there's these uh, rock things that go over to the, the winter biome. And what you're going to do, is you're going to sneak right over here. That's a good spot. And you're going to set off some TNT. Oh, come on. Open. There we go. Wait, where's... Where's my TNT? Oh, there it is. It's behind me. <laughs> that was weird. There we go. And lit. Run away! I love watching this stuff blow up. Whoa! It almost got me. Ooh, okay. Try and get it a little ways in there. You want it right in the middle if you can. If not, that's that's cool. It gets most of the blocks, but you want to make sure that explosion touches all of those blocks. And you're just going to head right over here. By the way, it's also the last day for the end times wood. If, you're, if you've been looking, or not end times wood, uh, spook wood and sinister trees. So if, you're, if you've been looking for those, today is the last day you can get them. Take all your stuff. Keep it in the boxes. Do not open the stuff up until you get down inside here. There's going to be this little red bird, uh, eagle, whatever you want to call it. It's straight, like once you come through the rocks, take a right and come all the way over here to the side. And then you're just going to open up this secret hatch and toss all this stuff in like that. Open it up again and jump in. Whee! Now all this stuff should fall down here to the bottom. Now this is what's called the Smuggler's Den. Not sure what they were smuggling or if uh, if there's a storyline behind it, but these three developers have three plates, and with the different clues that are around the uh, the world. What? He made a clear light bulb. This thing used to just be white. Oh, that looks cool. Oh wow. What? Fire doesn't show up. Look at that. Okay, the light bulb has just gotten like a hundred times cooler. Anyhow, light bulb goes over here. Light bulb to your right. Uh, broccoli, or the sandbag, goes to the back. Now, I always mess this up. These two, I always get backwards. Maybe, maybe it'll be backwards here. But the last one, the can of worms goes right here and oh. yay here it comes now it's gonna be the rookie axe for me but it's the end times axe today October 31st if you're looking to get the end times axe it is today right now that's that's what you gotta do now this is this is the kind of cool part is um, oh <laughs> It fell. This right here is the Rookery X. All right. This is the most powerful axe in the game that you can get, except for the End Times axe. That is natural, like it, it is still obtainable to this day. Um, all other axes. I take that back. I think a Twitter axe might be a little bit more powerful. I'll have to go. You know what? We can go test that real quick. I have a Twitter axe. Oh. Um. Okay. So open that up. I'm going to grab a rookie and a Twitter. And we're going to go test them out on a large tree. Maybe it may be an elm. Yeah. Good experiments to do code. Good experiments. Um, just real quick. I want to take a just a peek around. Still looking for spookwood. Last day for spookwood. You have to get it today. So... Yeah, I would highly recommend server hopping and looking at the tops. Looking looking over the top of the mountains. And if you don't know what I mean by server hop, I mean jump out of a game, jump into a game. Look around the tops right here. If you don't see one right off the bat, jump out of the server and jump into a new one. And just continuously jump until you finally land in a server that has one. But that is how to get the end times axe. That is how to get the rookery axe. Um, that is a normal process that happens every single day. You, you can go and get the rookery axe 364 days out of the year. And then on October 31st, the, uh, the day of Halloween, you can get the end times axe. And the end times axe is the only axe that can cut the end times tree. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate the end times tree. Actually, 
Do I have any eye? I've got eyeballs. I could, but let's do this real quick, and then and then that's it. You guys, you guys got to get going and and get your uh, your end times act stuff going. So <clears throat> I'm not gonna delay you for too long. No delays today, code. Quick, fast tutorial. All right. Here's going to be five swings of the Twitter axe. One, two, three, four, five. That is with a Twitter axe. Here is with a Rookery axe. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the Rookery axe is more powerful. Look at that. Five swings. Now I'm going to test it again. We're just going to go up a little bit and one, two, three, four, five. Twitter axe. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. I can't tell. I can't tell. All right. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Well, we'll go ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would say they are equally matched. The Rookery and the Twitter Axe are both the exact same. Now, where they differ is going to be with um, Bluewood and Firewood. Uh, do I have Bluewood that I can test on? Yeah, this. This one right here we can test. So, <clears throat> let's do the Rookie X on the right hand side, and we'll do the Twitter X over there. We're going to do 10 swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, 10. Okay. I almost lost count. One. Oh, it's going the wrong direction. Dang it. One. Dang it. Why are you doing that? Silly gooses. Um. Hold on. What if I? Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It'll it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Two. Dang it. <laughs> One. No. Come on. Right in the middle. One. No. That's not how you test things. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. That's, that's determined right there. Five swings is equal to ten swings of the Rookery Axe. So you can tell that the, the blue axe to the blue wood does better. Much better at cutting uh, the electric wood. Um, what I was saying before is like the bees axe, like this thing, right? If you swing and hit with it, it does like a bees. And then the, the little... There you go. So... And every time you hit, you release some bees. <clears throat> that is a specialty X, so that you can get 10K to 15K for that, um, for specialty items. Same same with this, like the Amber X. Uh, I don't remember if it's specialty made for something, but anyhow, thank you so much for watching this uh, this quick tutorial on how to go get the end times X. Go do it today, right now. I know my lumber looks different. That's because I recorded this yesterday. Just, just one last word. I recorded this yesterday. The day that it releases, you need to go right now and get your end times X by doing the rookery run today. So, Leave your comments down below. How many Rookery Axes did you get? How many uh, how many End Times Axes are you picking up today? Do you have the money to spend on it? Do you need to ask people for money to, to get it? Or like, tell me your stories down below. 
in the comments. I want to hear them. Love you guys very much. Happy Halloween. I hope you get lots of candy. If you don't celebrate Halloween and you, and you celebrate something else, or if you know what, just eat candy. Today is candy day. Whether you're doing Halloween or you're not doing Halloween, eat candy. Parents, let your children eat candy today. Today is the candy day. In fact, I'm going to go eat a candy right now so my avatar can enjoy it along with you. Everybody get a, get a piece of candy. Get ready to go. Hit that subscribe button, like right, right now. All right, we're going. We're going to eat a piece of candy and go. Nom nom nom. nom, nom. Yay! Pieces of candy in my head. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's up to you. If you want to do it, if not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night or day or Halloween. We'll talk to you real soon. Outro. Thank you.